weird. It's <laughs> cool. Um, had a shit ton of fun with the business. Awesome. Um, making bookings. Sell by chat is way better. Awesome, Molly. Podcast with Holly. Yep. Baby Parker. Yep, that's epic, bro. Very, very cool. All right, guys. So, yep, for those of you um, who have jumped on here or watching live, um, I probably will put this on YouTube. So if you're on there, give us a subscribe um, because I'm going to build out a ton of this stuff as we go. Um, but if you're watching on replay, just comment in the comments wherever you find us. Um, let me know if you have any questions or you need any of these systems. Um, I can potentially um, hook you up. So let's get into it. So today, guys, I wanted to put together something, and it comes with a word of warning, okay? So I'm not a fan of quick anything. I, I seen something really, really good yesterday. It was like, you know, um, if you go slow, it'll last forever or something like that. Fast never lasts and slow, you know, will, will help you grow. So one thing I guess in terms of marketing and, and I'll probably be the first business coach to tell you is this system may not work for you and including the program, including the marketing, but it's worked very, very well for me. And so now I'm going to give you some little adjustments that can make it work for you. And so what I've learned over a long period of time, you know, I've been coaching for 10 years. I've sort of been, I guess, learning marketing for six years um, and been a business coach for a couple of years now. And I, I sort of realized like probably about four months ago, I was like, I got sick of seeing, you know, people run booty programs and make fucking shit loads of money. I'm like, I'm going to run a booty program. Cool. I got no clients from this booty program. I was like, fuck, what's going on? It's like I used the exact same marketing one of our Mumba members was using to make 10 grand a week, um, but we got nothing. And I was like, okay, cool. And so what it is, is, is you always have what's called equity in your audience, especially with organic. If you're running ads, you can put out an ad and, and you'll get whoever comes along. It, it does work and we do use those systems. But if someone hasn't seen me grow my glutes for the last six months and I put up a glute program, unless my clients have fucking massive glutes, which some of them do, I've got a fucking big ass myself, but I don't flaunt it. It's quite likely that there is no proof that what your program does is going to get a result. Cool. Especially on the internet. Like there's 4 million other glute coaches out there and I'm probably not the one to pick, you know, even though I can help you get that result. And so I just want to say that off the bat, because ultimately, like, especially now in, in the world we live in, you know, you have to build up that equity and you have to put in the long term reps to get a big return. But hopefully you can use some of the principles today. You can use the marketing system. And, you know, if you make some adjustments, make some wording. And if you're not just putting up a random offer in the first time in, you know, four months, you hopefully get a couple of clients out of it as well. Um so let's kick in, guys. Um, good to see everyone here. So what is this? This is a project fast start, okay? And so one of the things that I've learned, especially with marketing and systems over a long period of time, is that people want to get a result faster, better, or for some reason, like have something access to something that they haven't had access to in the past so that they can actually start to win in their training or nutrition. And so... No, everybody wants to run the sustainable route. And I'm I'm a big believer in that. Like we actually run programs where we've had 12 week um 12 week shred programs within our gyms, within our online, where people lose lose between eight and fifteen kilos on average. The good thing is we have data that 12 to 24 months after, the, the only average weight gain is about one to two kilos, which is natural fluctuation. So we created a system where we can get really, really fast results, but the results last forever. And so I guess this is a part one of, of how we get a quick result in the first 28 days, because generally what will happen, especially with online, is that if people see a result from what they're paying for, they're likely to comply more and they're likely to stay with your program a lot longer, okay? I'll, I'll sort of go behind the science, I guess, of why we apply this um, system as well. So what we're going to go over today um, is we're going to go over the delivery. So my 28-day fast start formula. We're going to go over the marketing on Instagram and Facebook. And then what you guys can do long-term to sign these clients in the future as well. So we'll kick into the delivery first. And I'm going to run this in two parts. I'm going to run it in like a, a zoomed out perspective. And then I'm just going to show you how I set it up on Trainerize. Um, the program, the nutrition, the accountability, the support, stuff like that. So you guys can see that as well. Um, so delivery. Basically, what we do is, is we have 
training, nutrition, and support. That's all you need. And and I have to admit, like up until about half an hour ago, I, I actually thought it was training, nutrition, and accountability. But I'm like, no one wants accountability. They just want the support to reach their goals. So I actually changed the way I phrased it. And so with our training, um, generally in a fast start program, I, I actually train people six days a week. I actually program for people almost seven days a week. And I don't necessarily smash people six days a week. It's just I'm giving them something to do almost every single day of the week. And so what we basically do in our programming is we run four full body strength sessions and then two conditioning sessions. And, and generally that's a good sort of protocol that has worked well for us over the years. Um, one with the general population is, is when they're motivated to get started, they feel like they should be doing more. The way we program it, it doesn't actually beat them up, but also to having a, a high frequency of training is actually going to improve your HRV. It's going to decrease your resting heart rate. It's going to reduce your blood pressure, all of that sort of stuff. So it's actually going to make them healthy. Um, I I probably learned this system from a guy named Christian Thibodeau, and he's a bit more of a, a low volume, higher frequency sort of guy in terms of a training system. And we've just found this works really, really well because you can run four full body sessions without beating people up and breaking them down. Um, the good thing about it too, because they're in a, a relatively sharpish calorie deficit, depending on where they're at, um, because of the full body strength sessions, they're going to retain a lot of muscle, which is going to improve insulin sensitivity, all of that sort of stuff. You know, they actually look like they've changed at the end rather than just losing body weight. Okay. So we want a physique transformation, not a weight transformation. That's what we're trying to achieve with this system. Um, beautiful thing too, like, as I said, with the high frequency of training too, they also get the improvements in the cardiovascular system. They get healthier um, generally because they get more repetitions of, of the same movements quite often, their skill improves as well. So they go from a beginner lifter to an intermediate lifter really, really fast. And and we've seen people, you know, go from never deadlifting before to deadlifting, you know, 1.5 times their body weight in roughly 12 to 24 weeks, you know, so in a fast period of time, just because of the high frequency. So just looking at that. So our nutrition, we actually run a diet boot camp, which is something we picked up from Charles Poliquin, the guy, um, also Luke Lehman, um, and also my in-house nutritionist. So diet boot camp, it's it's got two things. Basically, it removes most of your processed food. And so this is actually a highly restrictive diet. And in our education, we actually tell people that we're like, look, this is a highly restrictive diet. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit the two most important things. We're going to make sure you're in a calorie deficit, but we're also going to make sure well, the three most important things. Um, we're in a calorie deficit, so you're going to understand your energy balance. You're also going to get enough protein because it's a very high protein diet. Plus, you're going to get a really high quality of food. So we're going to take you away from all the processed foods. We're going to focus mostly on vegetables and um, protein. And it's going to help to reduce your inflammation in your body, you know, improves your resting heart rate, all of that sort of stuff. Also, it makes it fucking easy. And, and I say this where literally if, if anyone knows what a diet boot camp is, it's basically it's it's very, very high protein most of your carbohydrates are going to come from your leafy green vegetables. So it's very low in carbohydrate, but you know, it's, it's, um it's a great little protocol and you know, all you have to do is basically eat meat and veggies. We still get, you know, 30 to 50% of people asking, what do you eat? Even if we give them the exact thing on a plate, what they should eat, it's completely foreign to a lot of people. And so this protocol won't be for everyone. But it can be a great little a great little kickstart to a fat loss phase because, you know, reduction in carbohydrates, you will lose water weight. Um, generally, because you remove all processed foods, all alcohol, that sort of stuff, you're going to reduce inflammation. Um, you're going to feel better overall. Your resting heart rate comes down. Your HRV goes up. So it just makes you healthier. Okay. And so for people to improve their motivations, their energy, all of that sort of stuff, um, we found it very good over time. And then so... With our support, okay, especially with online, and, and I, I recently changed this from accountability because accountability is is one of two things. It's either a kick up the ass or it's a cuddle, okay? And realistically in the online world or basically any, any world in terms of like helping someone get a result, that's only a small part of it. So when you have support with this program, 
you can set up a, a two-way chat, whether it's, you know, a group chat or whether it's a one-on-one -on -one chat with a client. Um, you're going to let them know, hey, sometimes I'm going to be here to kick you out the ass if you're being lazy. Other times, if you're feeling like you're going off track and you need a cuddle, I'm here to support you as well. You know, I'm not here to be David Goggins. I'm here to give you whatever you need to make it through. Um, you're also going to give them program education. And so, I guess one of the things why we get really, really good results with our programming or with our online clients is our program is rather technical and, and you know, what we actually program will get a really, really good result if you apply it in the way it's designed to be applied. Um, so we actually encourage all of our, you know, our clients to ask us, you know, what does this mean in terms of your programming? And so, you know, that's the difference between, you know, getting a, a spreadsheet going to world gym, you know, doing a workout at the gym and having a coach. It's like, hey, look, this five second eccentric, the reason why we're doing this in your program is because of X, Y, Z, and it's really going to help you get this benefit, okay? When people understand training, they apply it better and they generally get better results. So it's a really good part. Nutrition support as well. So for the people who don't know what meat and veggies is, cool. You're able there to stay there and say, hey, man, that donut that you're eating right now, it's probably not on the plan, okay? If you do want to have that donut, make sure it's tracked in my fitness pal, chronometer, whatever you want to do. Hey, next time, instead of having that donut, how about we go for something slightly different? So giving them that nutrition support and the chat is really, really helpful as well. Technique reviews. So... Let's say you've got an Olympic weightlifter as a client, you know, when you got them in person, you can give them direct feedback straight away. You know, you can sort of be like, hey, man, look, you know, um, you weren't pushing through your foot there. You came up on your toes early, bar went forward. That's why you missed your snatch. Cool. You can't do that because you're not in person. So, but what you can do is you can teach them how to view, uh, video themselves so that you can give them direct feedback in regards to uh, their technique. And what I've actually found is, is that, the detail you can sort of, or when you think about it, if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one PT or a group session, you know, for about 10 seconds, you're going to coach that client. Maybe maybe a minute, you know, at that one period of time. The rest of the time, they're either resting or you're just talking shit with them. So realistically, in the online space, when people send you technique reviews, even though it's not like instant, generally it can be very, very helpful because it's that's what they're paying for in person, okay? So it can be very, very helpful. And if you are, you know, online while they are training, they can get direct feedback for their next set in between their sets, you know? While they're resting, give them direct feedback. They go perform their next set. They've improved. It's, it's really, really powerful. Um, something that's helped my, my personal clients a lot lately. Um, you can also give them solutions, okay? So... Let's say um, Jesse pops in my inbox. He's like, hey, bro, um, I was looking to get into saunas. Do you have anything in relation to that? Um, within our system, and I can show you guys this soon, we actually have a three-stage, a four-stage sauna protocol that we can actually plug directly into Trainerize without us doing any work. So it's like, hey, Jesse, bro, all right, man, for the next seven days, I'm going to pop onto your Trainerize, the protocol for level one in terms of our heat protocols. Then after that, man, if you tick that box every single day, I'm going to give you our sauna protocol for 30 days. Once you've done that, I'm going to get that assault bike you've got at home and get you to do assault bike sprints in your sauna. <laughs> cool. Which we're not going to do because it's fucked up. But we do have that programmed in there. Anyway, but so like you can give them instant solutions. And so where people go wrong with an online program is they go build out this education portal. They go build free groups. They go build all this shit that... Like, honestly, in terms of education, guys, like, as soon as you have education, it's no longer worth anything, okay? So, say, for example, is, like, um, let's say Jesse right now doesn't have a sore back, okay? And I go give him a, video, a, a course on how to heal his lower back. He doesn't give a shit. It's not worth anything to him, okay? But let's say tomorrow he does a deadlift, hurts his back, he's in a lot of pain. I'm like, hey, Jesse, bro, here's a video on how to heal your lower back. All of a sudden, that's the most valuable thing he's had all week, okay? The difference is the education comes when he needs it, okay? It also saves you guys a hell of a lot of time because you don't go and build out all these resources that people may not need. You only build them out as needed, okay? And so, like, I'll, I'll be honest, I've, I've probably created, like, inside of our Mumba program, there's about 600 hours of content, you know, over the last two years. And majority of that has only come from when people have asked me a question and I just go and build it out. You know, it's, it's just that simple. Okay. So in terms of delivery, 
from a zoomed out perspective, that's what it looks like. Okay. And um, I'll just let Barbara in. And then if we go into our trainer eyes, where are we? Wrong one. Cool. And then this is how it looks when you build it out. So I just built out this new client. I'm just going to show you how I can set this up in about five minutes. Okay. So I go in here, I go training program. Cool. I'm just going to go subscribe to a master program. I'm going to go Mumba 28 day fast start female program. I'm going to make this program start on Monday. Cool. And that's going to be there. Sweet. So now the program is loaded up into the um, trainer eyes. Okay. Then what I have to do is I have to add my nutrition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the meal plan section here. I'm going to go attach a meal plan. Let's go start. Where are we? Downloads. And I'm going to go female health foods. Where is it? Files. Cool, and this should come up. Let's go here because it's basically the same one. Cool. And then we now have a meal plan in this um, document. One thing though, is I can actually take this if I need to. Cool, I'm just gonna copy this. And I can do something like this and go into chat GPT. Using the same macros, calories, and similar foods and meal options, I want you to rewrite this meal plan so that it fits uh, um, and it has more calories for a male who weighs 100 kg, the calculation for calories is 100 kg times 2.2 times 12 for total calories. The macros are 40, 13, 40 fat, 20 carbs. Can you give me three different options for this meal plan? Cool. And then I just go, hold on, that didn't work. One second, bear with me, guys, this will be worth it. So if I just go here, control A, control C, cut this into here. Cool. ChatGPT is now going to build me a different style of meal plan for a larger meal. Cool. It's a big breakfast. It's about 600 colors. <laughs> That's all right. But I can now take this, chuck it into a Google document, plug it into, you know, um, what do you call it? Trainers. Now they have a custom meal plan. Okay. Check out this. I can say remake this as if Jamie Oliver created recipes for this meal plan. Cool. Once this finishes, and it's going to spit out recipes that Jamie Oliver would make. Okay. So I'll just go like this. Bang. So knowing what you know from this here, you can ask your client for their meal preferences, their food preferences, their goals for their macronutrients. You can also ask them for what are their sometimes foods. Do they like burgers, pizzas, chocolate, ice cream? This will make healthy versions, okay? 
Yeah, fucking incredible. So this here, guys, is, is something that can be, if you know what you're doing with nutrition and you can play around with this, you have something that's very, very powerful, very, very individualized, and now you have something that is extremely unique. People are going to look at this and think salmon twist with sweet potato mash and think, fuck, that's delicious. I could eat that every single day. It even comes with a piece of dark chocolate for dessert. Fits their calories, fits their macros. It's extremely personalized. It's it's pretty spot on in terms of health foods, all of that sort of stuff. They now have a meal plan that's pretty amazing. Okay, so you just take that, chuck it into uh, a Google Doc, and you have a pretty sick little nutrition program. Okay, so that's how you do nutrition on here. Um, I do recommend like using obviously fucking spot on equations and stuff like that. Um, don't consult me. I'm not a dietitian. I just know a lot about nutrition. Okay. So <laughs> I probably shouldn't teach this stuff, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, so then guys, we can actually add some custom habits. Okay. One of the things is, is that we want our clients to be self accountable. Okay. So when we go in here, we go goals and habits. We just go new with my habits on trainerize. Cool. I basically build out all of our custom habits. So these are all the habits I have for our gym, for our online programs, all of this sort of stuff. Okay. We've got beta oxidative digestive walks, blah, blah, blah. It's basically just a nose breathing walk, but it sounds cool. Um, then we've got check your blood pressure. If someone has a blood pressure issue in our gym, we now have them checking their blood pressure a couple times a week. Um, for this case, we're going to use our body composition um, chicken. So I'm going to make that appear on their calendar every Monday and Tuesday for the 28 days. Cool. This has a, a video on how to track their body weight, their circumference, their navy, like their body fat percentage, and photos. Plus, it's going to come with a weekly chicken as well. Um, so now that's in their calendar as well. I'm also, because my client is a weapon, I'm going to go into here and go culture. I'm going to look for level three sauna, which is combo methods, aka dumb shit, complete the culture trials, which is like all of this sort of stuff. Actually, I'll make it level two because it looks a bit better. Starting at 10 minutes, one to two times per week, increase until you get to 45 minutes over the span of three months. Tag the culture gym on your socials while you're in the sauna. Once again, we're getting social proof um, and you guys will get a free limited edition t-shirt. Okay, so I'll just make this in there for my clients on a Monday, Thursday and a Sunday and they can do that for three weeks. Now that's in their, in their calendar, okay? Cool. All of a sudden, my client now has training, personalized nutrition. They also have the check-ins automated. Plus, they have a sauna protocol, which is pretty fucking elite. And it all just pops up on here, okay? Or it should do anyway. Um, all of that stuff should pop up on here once it's all set up. So then the last thing we need to add on. Is. That's annoying that it didn't pop up, but that's okay. So we'll go auto message. And then we're going to add in their check-in form. So I'll take this check-in form, auto message on a Thursday, set up, set up repeat options every Thursday for four weeks. Complete your check-in. Now, and I'll make that at lunchtime, so that while they're on their lunch break, they can remember to do that. Anyway, I have to add that first. Make it at lunchtime. Schedule. Cool. And then that'll load up onto their calendar. So that's all their training, their nutrition, their check-ins, all of those practices. Um don't know why that's not showing up, but it normally does. So that's all of their practices. All of that stuff is now set up and ready to go. And they have a pretty elite fucking program all set to go. Okay. Um, yeah, that's annoying that it didn't show up, but it normally does. So that's how we set up our training, nutrition, accountability, all of that sort of stuff. All we have to do now is let them know how to use it. Okay. So what I'll basically do is I'll either get them on a quick 15 minute onboarding call, let them know how to use Trainerize, let them know the protocols, let them know if there's any questions we want to answer and all of that sort of works. 
Um, if we sort of have a look at the training program, um, so basically day one, we we do like an isometric day. Um, so we've just got some general warm up. We've got a bit of a core warm up here. We go back squat, overhead press, sumo deadlift, can be any deadlift they want, T bar row. And then for the women, we got hip thrust and lateral raise. We basically use five reps with a six second pause at midpoint. So that's Monday, Tuesday. We do a uh, bodybuilding day. <coughs> so we got some uh, upper body there. And we're using a two-in-one method. So I just use slightly different bodybuilding methods uh, on our Tuesday day. Wednesday is an eccentric day. So basically, once again, uh, we have a, a hack squat, an incline press, Romanian deadlift, and bent over row. So basically, every single day, we just do a push-pull upper lower. So basically, four exercises. Um, and we hit all those, those muscle groups. Thursday is a cardio day. Friday is a concentric day. And then Saturday, we generally program something for them in terms of like a strongman conditioning day, maybe an extra bodybuilding day, or maybe like a hobbies day for them to get out and go for a walk or hang out with their friends and stuff like that. So that's basically how we set up the delivery side of things. Is there any questions on that so far, guys? I talked a lot there. I just noticed you used a Google form for the check-in. Can you see everybody's answers individually? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can see the responses. Yeah. And and who it's from? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Boot camp works a treat, ice cream diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just when you set up the um the nutrition, you used um uh evolved nutrition to do the initial meal plan. Could you go on a chat GPT just with the macros, the calories, and and ask them, like you said, put in the the foods you want to see or the sometimes foods, and it would do it anyway? Do you need to use that software first, or is that just makes it easier? Nah, nah. We just always – we've got, like, 20-odd meal plans in that Evolution Nutrition, so that's I just use that to show it then. But, yeah, 100%. Like, chat GPT – I did one for an athlete the other day, actually, and I had to get my nutritionist to check it. And I was like, he's like, bro, there's no fucking protein in the first three meals. So yeah. chat GPT won't always get it right, but at least it gives you something pretty close. You know, so it's, it's like the yeah. right inputs. Yeah, well, I messed up the I messed up the inputs and said like this is the overall. And I just forgot to put like each meal's macros. Mm. So um I'll show you another thing. So like you'll be able to see my screen. So this is the meal plan from my coach. So basically what I do is I can go here. I'll just go control, go control A. And I'll go C, control copy. You guys still see my screen? I need you to make me a meal plan based off these macros and these foods. So go into here, get his food list, copy, and oh, now we'll just take that. And this is my meal plan I'm actually using right now. Once it loads up, so it gives me my low carb days, non training days, meal one. Cool. To me, I'm like, that looks like I'm fucking going to hate my life, <laughs> which I will if I eat food like that every single day. So once it's built out, you can give it, you can reprompt it, okay? So um, for my high carb day, I want you to make it so that every meal is a uh, Heston Blue Thermon Tau inspired dish. On my low carb days, give me recipes inspired by gaining low bum. Cool. And this will just make it a bit better. Okay. Heston Blue from Montau is renowned for his innovative and scientific approaches to cooking. Pre workout meal, protein shake with a twist. Cool. Add a dash of vanilla and a pinch of cinnamon. Scotch eggs with a twist. 
deconstructed beef burgers. Oh, like you, you have to put in more inputs to tell it to make it more specific. But just stuff you can do, guys, with Chat GPT to like really systemize and make you know your your delivery pretty fucking incredible. Um, sweet. Any more questions on delivery, guys? I uh, is it possible to get a copy of the presentation, Dylan? That yeah, you with your with your program, that'd be awesome. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. I'll get into our next part, guys. So, next part on here is how do you market it? Okay, so marketing it is you have basically three components, three components, not four. So. We have our wall, which is either Instagram or um, Facebook. We have our Instagram stories or Facebook stories. And we have our hit list, okay? And so with an LBE offer like this, a 28-day program, there's two ways you can go about it. Is you can make it, you can make it so that it's it's something that is new, introductory, you know, looking as like a beta test type option where it's quite a like a, a really good promotion, where it's like a cheap promo, you know, 50% off for the first five people that jump on my program. That's gonna work as a as an offer. Or you can make it that, hey guys, I've been working on something for the last 12 months. You know, I'm very, very fucking excited for my online program that I'm about to launch. I'm only going to run five people through it because I know there's a lot of detail. I've put a lot of work into this program and I really want to make sure the first group that goes through it gets all of my attention. Okay. Which one do you think has a higher price tag? One or two, the first option or the second option? Number two. Yeah. hundred percent. So it's really up to you whether you want to promote it as something that's very detailed, very unique, or something that's just the low entry price and getting people to try. Both will work, okay? And so when you post on your wall, day number one, and you basically do this over a six-day period, what I've found is that, you know, a couple of years ago, you could just put up, I'm looking for five guys who want to try my new program. You put that on your social media, and you probably get three to five people straight away. Now you got to do that and prompt it for like four to five days at least for people to actually jump on your programs. Like people are way more skeptical now and I've seen it for like online coaching has been around a while now. Like let's just say online coaching has probably been a thing officially since COVID. I've, I've had an online program for eight years. So like since COVID though, everyone's an online coach. And so people have seen these marketing strategies a lot. So day number one is something new is coming, okay? Just start off the headline with that. Something new is coming. I'm fucking excited. Keep an eye out. I've been working on this really, really hard. Alex Hormozzi did that with his book. He led up to his new book for about three months. I've been working on something for two years. I'm very, very excited to bring it to you guys. That was his marketing plan for his $100 million leads, okay? You guys can do that on a smaller scale where it's like, you know, after 10 years of coaching, I've been working on something very, very exciting. I'm looking forward to bringing this out to you guys over the next few weeks, okay? Just creates a bit of curiosity. Once again, if you have equity in your audience, this will work a treat. It'll start to get people thinking, what's Blair cooking up? This looks cool. Day number two is social proof. Whatever the program is that you're going to sell, drop your best result, whether it's yourself or someone else that has had a result that is similar to the one you're going to offer, okay? So if you're running a 28-day program where you can drop between two and six kilos in the four weeks, you know, have, have your best result there. Have someone that's gone through that or have someone that's gone through your program for the last 12 months and got really, really good results and let people know that this lady started on, you know, our intro program. Now she's been with us for 12 months. This is what she's achieved. Once again, you're plugging, plugging the, um, the long game. Day number three is when you actually launch it. So it's like, guys, I've been teasing this, you know, over the last 12 months, I've put together this online program. Um, I'm very, very excited for it. And I'm going to go all in and give you guys, you know, a world-class experience. I've looked at a lot of online stuff. I really don't like a lot what's going on, but I think I've come up with something that's very, very good. So I'm looking for five people who are going to be my first guinea pigs. I'm going to absolutely fucking flog you. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to make sure this is the most disgusting program you've ever done but you'll get the best results you've ever had, okay? You can talk shit like that. You can, basically, it's just letting people know that you have a new program. And, like, if you want, send me a message and I'll send you a script um, on this stuff. 
it's it's actually more simple than it looks. So day number four is you can drop a results like me post, okay? And so now that you've launched your program, the results like me post is either one of your clients that's had amazing results that are similar to what you're offering in your program or your own personal results that are similar to what you're offering in your program, okay? Um, day number five, you're gonna give away something that's in your program, so some bonus upgrades. And then day number six is you're gonna drop more social proof, but with a last call. Hey, look, now I've got one spot left on this first intake of this program, um, looking for someone who would be interested, okay? So that last call. On your Instagram stories, every day for that six days, you're going to post your results, cool. The results that you've been getting recently, whether it's strength results, whether it's, you know, body composition results, maybe it's mindset results, you know, maybe um, like, for example, today I went to go to training, but, you know, um, my kid got my little baby girl. We had a, a mums and bubs class at our, at our gym. This other kid tried to kick her down the stairs. <laughs> I was like, fuck's sake. And it was like, yeah. And this, these are like, these are, there's like 30 stairs and this baby tried to kick my baby down the stairs. I was like, okay, cool. I'm not going to get to train today, but you know, how can I share what I did to make sure that my training nutrition and stuff is still on point throughout the day. So sometimes sharing a little bit of the real stuff where it's like, Hey, look, training didn't happen today, but fuck it. This is what I did to make sure my health was on track. Then post number two, share some client results. People want to see that what they're going to pay for is going to work, okay? Um, then post number three is a results in advance. So like, hey, if you're looking to drop, you know, four kilos in the next four weeks, this is the first thing to start that process, okay? Cool. And just say, hey, look, take a photo of your food for a day, cut out all the processed food. Simple as that. You're probably going to reduce the calories, okay? Um, then post number four, and this is like basically a six-day sequence. Post number on the day one, you basically just follow what you've been posting on your wall each day, okay? You just share that offer in your stories. And it's like on your Instagram stories, people are going to see your stuff more than your wall. That's where you hold attention. That's where you get attention, um, so you can follow that little flow there. Day one, you do a teaser. Day two, you do your social proof plus some value. Day three is your offer. Comment on here, tap the button, you know, send me a DM, whatever you want to do. Get on my offer, which is 50% off for the first month of this program. Um, day four, you, you put up your offer again. You use a bit of scarcity, like two more spots left, you know, five spots already gone. Add a little bit of promo or a free bonus. Um, and then on day number six, you can either do a countdown timer if you still have a spot, or you can open up a few extra spots because the response has been so good, okay? That can work an absolute fucking treat. We did this um, on my Instagram stories, and we got 66 trials on, on one program using this exact flow. Um, so when you look at that, these are some of the Instagram story flows that have worked really, really well. I'll just drop this in the chat, guys. So you got this folder as something that you guys can replicate. So this is some of the examples we used. Um, cool. The internet is a bit slow. Sorry, guys. So just so you can see some examples, they don't have to be like a million dollar post. It's just something simple. You know, um, today's my last day in my twenties. Today I hit my last prep. Um, things are happening. Let's fucking go. So that's the results like me post. Cool. This is how we got all of these people, our uh, um, 67 trials or 66 trials. We got them to join our free channel on Instagram. So I just had one of the results of my clients. Um, this was her doing fucking weighted pull-ups. She's an absolute beast. And we're like, build the machine, free the mind. Join our free six-week elite body transformation program. This is one that Maddie, who was one of our Mumba students, she was she made like fifty thousand dollars in December. Um, she just shared all the results that she's got. Cool. Then she said, "Shred season is coming." Summer twelve weeks away. This group challenge is for my queen. So just the real basic post. And I'll let you guys go through the rest. Cool. Want to reinvent yourself? Mitch Buck and I have come up with some magic. Join our program. Cool. And I just shared a before and after of myself. 
This was when I was doing CrossFit. This is when I changed to the program we have now. <laughs> I got a top 100 in the open with this body. Cool. This body here, I can't do CrossFit for shit. So slightly different programming, but that's the way it is. So that there, guys, is, is some examples. I dropped that. Um, as you'll see, a lot of it's relatively simple. Some of it's a bit nicer. Basically, it's just showing results. If you show results, people are going to think this is worth doing, okay? Um, part number three in terms of your marketing is a hit list, okay? So think of all your old clients that, you know, have moved away. You know, they can't come to the gym anymore. They used to be a client. Now you have an online program that you can share with them. It's like, hey, Blair, bro, I wish, um, man, I hope you're going well. Um, man, I thought I'd reach out because, you know, I've got this new online program and I thought you'd be fucking perfect for it um, because we got some great results when you're here. Now I think I can get the same results online, okay? Um, old leads, anyone that's reached out to you in the past, ambassadors are amazing. So we built a, an athlete program to $10,000 a month in three months, purely off ambassadors, okay? So we we had one or two, um, they were basically semi or professional footballers um and they just basically shared our program i trained them for free and they shared our program we got a ton of referrals from that um and it was just really really cool so you guys could think of one ambassador we had a chick from love island at one time where she wanted to get fit for love island um she shared our page a lot got us a heap of clients just in terms of that body composition stuff um anyone who engages with your social media or even your neighbor's dog so Basically, you guys have got all the leads you need. You just have to let them know that, hey, look, I've got this new program coming out, um, and this is the result that you can get. I thought you'd be interested. If you're interested, let me know, and I'll, I'll let you know the details, okay? Super simple. I prefer a voice message because it seems more personal. Um, a lot of people are sick of bots, stuff like that. So if you send a voice message, it's going to work quite well. So then long term, um, what you got to do is, is you got to map the future or sell the future. So obviously we all know guys like a 28 day program, especially one as not necessarily as aggressive as this, but one that's going to get a fast result. We have to let people know that, Hey, look on the other end of this, we want to make sure that your results stick can stay forever. So what we're going to do in that first 28 days is we're going to get you a really, really good result. You can expect two to four kilo weight loss. If you want to continue with that, this is the plan. Um, but also, we want to make sure that your performance improves um, and we're going to support you to get your long-term goals. So always sell them on, on day zero, not day 28. Because what often happens is that when people get go for a program, they start to look around for what's next, okay? And so if you get them on day zero and you map out what's next before they even start, you've got a much better chance of them becoming a long-term client, okay? Like it's it's a big mistake waiting till week 20 or 28 days um, to actually sell them into your program. Also let them know about the long-term support, you know, like let them know that, hey, look, there's ups and downs along the journey. We, we're going to make sure you're on track for the whole time. This is how we're going to support you. Let them know what 12 months of programming and results looks like with you. Um, let them know how you're going to improve their technique, the time zones, all of that sort of stuff. Um, if you have any community events, one of the guys in Mumba, Jesse, um, runs fucking awesome community events. You know, gets them all in a gym, does a grading like jujitsu, you know, has ice baths, saunas, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and then also the solutions. If you're, if you're giving them solutions along the way, they'll realize that you're a resource that they can rely on. And that's that's probably the beauty of online. Um, then it's also like your portfolio. You know, you want to build a portfolio of results so that it's undeniable that if someone joins this 28-day or your 12-month long-term program, the results they can expect, you know, are very, very consistent. And a lot of people have got that over time. So always selling selling the long term and, and think about building out a portfolio. And so this 28-day program, it can be anything you want to build your portfolio on. If you do want to get body composition results, you're going to have a larger market. But it's also, you know, you need to commit to getting, you know, 10 to 20 long-term or like very, very good physique results. Over 12 months, you can do that and you can have a very successful program. If you want to be known for strength coaching, performance coaching, just think of the results you want. You know, in the 28 days, are people going to get their first pull-up? Are they going to PB their squat? What's going to happen, you know? So just think of that and think of the long game for yourself and that portfolio can start to build. 
Um, so that's that in a nutshell, guys, is a bit of a zoomed out how you guys can build out like a, a really, really good 28 day program. Um, probably nothing more, nothing less in, in terms of what you need in it. It's just a matter of like making sure that, you know, your, your dots are in place, but also making it so that you can automate and systemize it. Um, you don't want to add too much. Too many people build out stuff that you really don't need in your program. But as you can see, with the if you have your systems down pat, like I'm pretty sure if I took, no, I have tried to build training programs in, in trainers. They can't build like as good, I mean, in uh, chat GPT. It's not quite there, but, you know, it's all right. But with the nutrition side of things, it's a fucking shortcut, you know? Like, that's that's a very, very good shortcut. Um, and then in terms of, like, the 28-day program, because it's got those extra little protocols, it's got the check-ins all automated, your job after that is just making sure that people stick to it and get the result they signed up for. Cool? Any questions, guys? Jess? Yeah, bro. Um Loved all of that. That was unreal. But um, how do I sell on day zero? Do I like how should I expect to explain them like um, price wise? Like, do they just blow over or do they have to re sign up and stuff like that? Let's role play, bro. Cool. Sweet. Um, Jesse, man. So with our 28 day program, um, obviously, man, in the first 28 days, we went over like we're going to. Um, we're going to help you lose two to four kilos. You know, we're going to get you fucking healthy as fuck. We're also going to get you like a really, really good base in terms of your strength, man. Like what we like to do in this first bunch of our program, obviously it's like we want to get you a result, but we want to set you up so that, you know, in week five to eight, we can start to really start to build your strength. In week nine to 12, we're going to start to PB, you know, all your lifts, we're going to start to, you'll start to see some really good body composition results. Um, and the cool thing is like once most people have been through like our first 12 week block, it sets the foundation for, you know, the next 12, 24 months to get some really fucking good results. How does that sound to you, bro? Oh, okay. So that's, that's really cool. So it's more than just four weeks though. Yeah. A hundred percent. Do you think like you can change your life in four weeks? No, no. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, honestly, if I'm being honest, bro, like the reason we do a 28 day um, package is like, look, I just want to show you what we do, bro. At, at the end of the 28 days, bro, if you think I'm a, like, if you think I'm a wanker, just tell me and we can stop it right there. I don't really care. Um, but I just want to like, let you know, like we, we're not a quick fix where we're here to set the foundation so that you can get some real fucking good results in the long term. Um, so just how we do that, man, like in that 28 days, literally, man, if you think I'm a wanker and this program isn't for you, just let me know. But to make it easy for you, to make it easy for everyone, at the end of 28 days, bro, it just rolls on until you tell us otherwise. Is that all good? Yeah, cool. And you just let them know, like, look, we got we've got everything mapped out for you. You know, like at week four, at week three, we'll have a bit of a check in, see how the program's gone, any adjustments you want to make. And we'll make sure like every three to four weeks, we're going to readjust your goals, you know, make sure we're always trying to improve. Um, and hopefully, man, like over the next you know, 12 months, we can get you some fucking wicked results. Um, yeah. Cool. That's it. Thank you very much. Does that make sense, guys, in terms of like selling on day zero? Just be confident, like be the expert, you know, like we all know, like, Look, if someone went on that diet boot camp for 28 days, they will lose for like they will lose a lot of weight. You know, it's like relatively low carb. It's just protein and vegetables. They are going to lose weight. You know, unless they're not telling the truth. What happens after that if they don't have a tool or a system afterwards? They go back to eating what they were, and it all comes straight back on. Cool. So we actually like after that, and like I'm pretty sure six uses the same system in our in his gym because like our mate Josh basically built the system for us. So after that first 28 days, we actually go to like a, I always get this wrong. I think I'm like dyslexic, but a lower GI carb where we reintroduce like some pumpkins, stuff like that. That's like lower GI. That'll be phase two. And then phase three is where we bring in just your standard like starchy carbs, bring in like basically if it fits your macros. And at week 10, we actually start to reverse diet people. And that's why they don't put on any weight because like we reverse diet them, build up their calories the right way. Plus they're no longer scared of carbohydrates because they realize that's not what made them get fat. 
And it's also that utilizing fuel uh, carbohydrates as fuel a lot better because that first four weeks we improve insulin sensitivity, blah, 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 blah. It, it just works a fucking trick. And so they're not going to get that unless they get the long-term result. And so it's like, it's on us at day zero to explain the full process because we should be looking after them, you know? And if they say, hey, man, I'm not too sure about that. It's like, well, cool, man. I think what we should do then is take a slightly different approach in this 28 days because I don't want to leave you without all the tools to make the long-term progress. Cool. And they'll, they'll appreciate that, you know? Yeah. That's why I said at the start, it's cool. This may not work for you guys, but like it, it will. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, cool. Um... Maddie or Blair, you guys got any questions? Yeah, they're just with your um with your programming. So obviously running programming kind of like templates, I suppose. And then do you make individual adjustments to that based on clients? A hundred percent, bro. Like yeah. I've I've probably got like there's probably two hundred programs on my trainer us. So like over, I think, and I've, I use another app as well for my more like athlete style clients. Um, basically what we have is what I call prototype clients. So say for example, that program there, we've got a girl like almost in bikini body shape with that style of programming. And like, she got fucking wicked results. And then, so basically people got referred because of her results. So we're like, okay, well, if they come wanting those results, the similar program's going to work. And it might be just a matter of like, oh, I've got sore knees. Okay, cool. Let's swap out the hack squat or let's put in some little protocols for her knees and stuff like that. Um, and I actually, I don't know if you guys know Travis Mash, um, probably one of the, the very, very best like weightlifting coaches in the world. I worked with them and about three months and I was like, oh, why have you guys got me on this program? They're like, oh, we just put everyone on this program because it's what we see all the time. And I'm like, well, these guys are coaching Olympians. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. And so generally after what happens after about six months, I've found with a client is they're quite often ready for a slightly different program. And then they become your prototype. So like I've had people that play rugby, you know, basketball, AFL, gym pop clients, all of that sort of thing. And so generally you'll get an outlier client that sort of pushes your programming quite a lot. And that will just become a templated program that you can plug people into that want a similar result. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 And so like in your case, man, it might be like, let's say it's a weightlifting program for CrossFitters, you know, it's like, most crossfitters are going to have the same issues with their weightlifting relatively. So it's like you just, the exercise selection might change slightly, but you know, it's, it's roughly going to be the same stuff. You yeah. Know? Program parameters are going to stay pretty similar across the board. Yeah. hundred percent. Like um, yeah. my, my current mentor is a guy named Tom Shepard. He's um, Kristen Thibodeau's head strength coach. And the biggest thing I'm learning from him is exercise selection. It's like, as long as you know your methods and, and your structures of your programming and stuff like that, generally the biggest thing that is going to change and adjust is um, exercise selection. So I'll just, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I, I sort of map out and, and like plan out my program. So can you guys see that mirror board? So this is, this is how I used to plan out my program. I don't do this anymore because it's in my head, but I was just basically like, this is a 20 week program. And I'm like, these are the things I want to hit. And this will become my template, if that makes sense. So I'm like, if I want someone to break a world record in sharing, I have a, I have a pathway for sheep, like for big sheep. And I have a pathway for little sheep. And it's like, it's the same structure, the exercise selection or what they have access to will be slightly different. But the pathway is the same, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's unnecessary, really. Um, I just got carried away. Send us that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it over. Um, sweet. Any questions, guys? Was that useful? Cool. All right, sick. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Have a good day. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to shoot it over. Um, for you guys that aren't a member, feel free, like, ask any questions on that. Like, I do build this out for people if you need it, um, or I can just teach you guys how to do it as well. Have a good day, guys. See you later. Bye.